Hey everyone, I'm Kirby, this is Kirby Meets Audio, and today is step two of our six step process to design and build your own speaker. Uh, today we're gonna be picking drivers. Over at kmakits.com, I have worksheets that give you an outline of this step in writing. I suggest you go download that for free and follow along while watching this video. It might help you out a bit and get those ideas flowing. There's lots and lots and lots and lots of drivers to choose from when you design and build your own speakers. Um, on one hand, that's a blessing because we can be sure to get exactly what we want. But on the other, it can be difficult to cull through all those options and find our sweet and special. Well, that's what makes step one so important. Uh, if you've gotten to this point and you haven't seen that video, I suggest you click right up here to do so. Uh, I highly suggest it because back in step one, we made a plan and part of that plan was answering some important questions. Before we move forward, we need to have a fairly clear idea of what we want and don't want from this build. The particular project we're working on this series, being a 2.1 soundbar, we know we have two separate speakers in one system. The first being the soundbar itself, and the second being a powered subwoofer. We know from step one that we want the soundbar to be sealed and to be either a one-way if we can find the right drivers, or a standard two-way with a midwoofer and tweeter. We actually already know which driver we'll be using for the sub. It's gonna be the eight inch Ultimax subwoofer. One, because it looks like a great driver for the system, and two, I already have one just sitting around waiting for a project. When selecting drivers, I have a list of seven things I like to keep in mind, and I split those up into two sections. First are to narrow, and the next are to finally select. So to narrow down our hundreds of available drivers, we start with our goals and constraints list we put together in step one. Then we consider our enclosure size, next our crossover type, and then finally our budget. That should narrow your prospects down to like five to 20, but sometimes that leaves you with one or none at which point you have to go back to step one and adjust your goals and constraints list to widen your parameters. All right, once you have those, it's time to select. I start by looking at the driver's frequency ranges, then sensitivity, and then finally, if you still have a few to choose from, you can consider driver's looks. All right, let's start picking some drivers. We already know the subwoofer we're looking at, so all we really have to worry about is the soundbar. Uh, I like to start with woofers, so that's what we're gonna do. There are a few websites out there on the interwebs that sell speaker build and components. I'll be using Parts Express today, but that's definitely not mandatory. Use whatever site you like. All right, I got my trusty laptop out. Uh, I'm gonna take you on this side and I'm gonna show you what I would do. All right, so we're gonna start in speaker building components. And since we're looking at either a one-way or a two-way, we're gonna go into mid-bass or full-range drivers. We have 465 drivers to choose from. That's a lot. Um, so we're gonna try to narrow this down as much as we can. Uh, we already started to refer to the number one in the narrow section with our goals and constraints to get to this point. And we'll probably refer back to that a little later, but we're gonna move on to number two, which is enclosure size. So when you think of the typical soundbar, you're probably thinking of something kind of thin and long and who am I to reinvent the wheel? So we're gonna go with that shape. Um, that means anything over like four inches is probably not gonna work. Uh, four inches is probably pushing it a little bit. Most likely it's gonna be more like three, three and a half inches. All right, so we're gonna go over here to the filters and we're gonna select three inch, three and a half inch and four inch. All right, that should help us out a bunch and it did got us down to 130 drivers, down from 465. That's, that's pretty good. All right, so let's look through these. Okay, so right off the bat, these PC83s uh, are a pretty good contender. Let's look at their specs. All right, we're gonna come down here to product specs specifications. Um, and it looks like this guy goes all the way up to 20,000 Hertz, which is the top end of the spectrum. Um, so these are gonna work good for both or either the one way or the two way. So that's nice. Put that in our back pocket and let's keep looking. Let's actually go back up and take a look at this high vi Okay, so this only goes up to 12,000 Hertz. So if we do choose this one, um, it'll only work for the two way. It won't work for the one way because the one way needs to be full range. It needs to go all the way up to at least 20,000 Hertz. All right, and this guy's actually the four inch version of the, what was it, the PC, PC uh, back at the beginning. And this guy goes up to 15,000 Hertz. So we got about 5K knocked off uh, on the top end for adding that extra inch. Um, 
I don't remember how low that three inch version got, but uh, I'm sure this guy goes loader, lower at 80 hertz. So this is where you start to make trade-offs. Uh, it'll be easier for the larger diameter drivers to hit those lower frequencies, but they all won't be able to go full range up to 20,000 hertz. Um, so you have to keep your plan from step one in mind while making these selections. Uh, in our case, we don't really need our soundbar's woofers uh, to go as low as 80 hertz, but we are considering a one way in which high end is important. So you have to weigh these options. So tell you what, we'll actually cut out these four inch woofers, because I don't think we're gonna need that. And that'll cut us down. That cuts us down to 73 drivers to choose from. So a little easier. So this is actually another great option, this DS series three inch woofer. We talked about this driver in the last design series. Uh, we considered it, but you guys ended up going with the TCP woofer. Um, but I think this is probably a good contender for a two-way setup. So this one actually does look good. We got it down to 80 Hertz, which is nice at three inches. So we're not losing anything there. And it goes all the way up to 13,000 Hertz. Um, so that'd be great for a two-way system. All right, so if we do end up going with a one-way design, the PS95 is an obvious choice. Uh, I reviewed this driver not that long ago. Um, you can watch that video right up here if you want. Um, it's an excellent driver and sounds great full range. That means just in the highs. Uh, I would say this guy is in the mix for sure. So we're, we're getting 110 Hertz up to 20,000. That's, that's perfect actually. Cause we're looking for a cutoff frequency to our subwoofer of around 150 Hertz. So this should be good. Okay, so now we have some options. If we go with the one way design, it's between the PS95 or the PC38. And if we go with a two-way, it's down to the PC38 again, the Hi-Vi or the three-inch DS90. All the frequency ranges fall to where we need them, uh, their sensitivities as well. And the only thing left on the list is looks. And although the Hi-Vi does look nice, uh, that copper color cone is definitely something you have to love. I'm not sure I love it. Not for this project at least. So I'm gonna actually let you guys decide which drivers I use. Uh, if you have an Instagram, go find me at Kirby Meets Audio and give me a follow if you like what you see. But then if you're watching this today, uh, the day this video comes out, and this is for all you diehards that clicked that bell, uh, check out my stories. In there, you'll find a poll where you guys can vote. If you don't have an Instagram, no worries. Just leave your answers in the comments down below. So first I need to know if I should do a simple one-way system on the soundbar with no tweeter or two-way with the tweeter. Then tell me which driver you think I should use based on your previous answer. So if you wanna see me build a one-way, your options are between the PS95 or the PC38. Or if you need that two-way tweeter action, choose between the PS38 or the DS90. So I'm really interested in which drivers you guys pick, but I like them all. So this is really a no-lose situation for me. All right, so we spent a lot of time on the woofers, so I'll be quick with picking the tweeter. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, if we go with the two-way system, I'll most likely go with the tried and true, the real workhorse of the tweeter community, the ND16FA. Uh, I love this little guy, there's just so much in such a small package. All the woofers we selected today will work fine with this tweeter, so no worries there. Uh, if you want more information on selecting tweeters, make sure to download that worksheet over at kmakits.com. It's free, so why not? I do want to say, keep in mind that this step is iterative, uh, just like this whole process of designing a speaker. Uh, you don't have to get too caught up in selecting the perfect driver right now. Just do your best with the knowledge you have and that worksheet <laughs> and see how it goes. You might realize later down the line that a different driver would be better and that's fine. Just come back to this step and start over. Messing up is just learning more than you expected. Congratulations. Also, if you're on this step, don't buy your drivers just yet. Hold off for a few more steps and then you can get your shiny new toys in the mail and you'll be happy. You won't mm, regret that decision later. On the next installment of this design series, we'll be diving face first into our first software program, but it's free, so that's nice and a little less of a blow. Uh, so if you're not already subscribed, then do that then click on that little bell next to it if you want to get updates on when I post. And be sure to vote. Tell me what crossover type and which drivers I should select in the comments down below or over on Instagram at Kirby Meets Audio. I post a lot of pretty pictures there. Check it out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
you thought it was trash, give it a thumbs down. How else am I supposed to know your feelings? I also have a Patreon where all the best people on the internet allow me to neglect them in exchange for money because I'm a bad person. Uh, I'm working on that. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.